Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. And we are excited to have Christine Goss back here with us, joining us from Lavender Lane. How is everything? Great, Jill. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Please say hello to your listeners today and introduce hello, yourself. Hello, everybody. I'm Christine Goss. I'm a Reiki master and a physiotherapist and I'm the owner and founder of Lavender Lane Wellness Center in Waterloo. And we integrate healthcare and holistic wellness. Perfect. Well, it's exciting to have you here. What's the website? LavenderLanePTW.ca. Perfect. And what did you have in store for us today? Let's talk about what you do because there's so much to you, to all your modalities that you use to help people. Yes. Yeah, so I'm a Reiki master. Um, so during my chakra balancing and Reiki sessions, um, we use crystals. And uh, they're really, really great for boosting positive energy. Um, so I'd like to talk a bit about what each chakra does. And uh, I brought some crystals and things to play with. Um, this weekend on April 23rd, we are going to be actually at a wellness fair live <laughs> for awesome. the first time in first time since the pandemic, right? I'm so excited. Um, that's going to be in Stratford at the Quality Inn from 10 to 4. So if you're in the area, we're only two, two hours north of Buffalo. Come for a drive. <laughs> Come see us. Um, so, and we're going to be offering sessions there at a discounted rate. So we'll be doing chakra balancing. Uh, Vanessa, our massage therapist, will be doing acupressure. And Lynn Baribo, she's our intuitive channel. She'll be doing intuitive card readings. Um, so we're That's really exciting. excited about that. And we're also planning ahead for our own open house wellness day called Spring Into Health on May 14th from 10 to 5. And we're going to be doing live sessions, this, the same um, intuitive card readings, acupressure and chakra balancing. But we'll also have an online option for our folks that are not local. And you can just go to our website, lavenderlaneptw.ca, go into online booking, you click on our pictures and just choose the spring into health service. It's super easy. Awesome. Holistic, uh, holistic wellness, wellness centered, all integrated, providing natural and evidence-based comprehensive care. So self-care, I know we've talked a lot about, um, I see up there, your services, uh, awesome. Your events are listed. So everyone is well informed for sure. And we've had some great conversations in the past about the work you do. What in particular did you want to focus on for today's show? Just, I don't have any specific notes for today. I hope that's right. Since we yeah, got the totally time cool. wrong. Okay. Oh, no, <laughs> good. That, that was a bit of an adventure. It's all good. Um, so I want to talk about chakras because um, that's that's really where I base my chakra balancing and Reiki healing from. Um, chakras are the energy centers on our body. There's seven of them plus the ground. And it's where mind, body, and spirit interface. So if there's an imbalance in one, it's going to affect the other. So often physical ailments, uh, diseases, chronic illnesses um, are actually from an imbalance on the emotional side or the spiritual aspects or, you know, past lives, things that have been passed down generationally. There's a lot of different things that we can clear out using energy work. Right? And energy work. And we're talking about Reiki or how would you call energy work? Is it under Reiki, an umbrella crystal of healing? So the specifically what I'm talking about um, is Reiki, crystal healing, and chakra balancing. Got it. Um, so we need our chakras to be balanced. We need our bodies to be balanced between heaven and earth, um, bringing in source energy or white light and bringing it from, from heaven and uh, bringing in the earth energy. We need that for, to maintain perfect health in mind, body, and spirit. Perfect. And let me ask you this. Um, you've been doing this for how long? A little bit of your background. Um, I've been a physiotherapist for 23 years, doing acupuncture for 20, what is it at now? <laughs> 22. And uh, I've been a Reiki master for six years. Perfect. Wow. So God, there's a lot under your belt. My goodness. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what else in particular? So now crystal healing, I'm not really familiar too much with, to be honest with you. What, how does that work in general? What type of crystals? So I integrate, people? well, actually, 
I integrate crystals into my Reiki practice, um, into chakra balancing, and then you can also use them, like I have them in my space um, to hold positive energy, to take negativity out of a space, um, and to help ground me. Um, so I can just run through each chakra, kind of give you a quick overview, and then the crystal that goes with it. Got it. So sure. if we start at the crown, that is um, where we where we connect to the divine, to source, God, creator, universe, whatever you want to call it, that's where we bring in and connect to divine energy. And the crystal for that is a clear quartz. And if you think about white light coming down through a prism, it becomes a rainbow. And that actually mirrors what happens with our chakra coloring. Um, the third eye is right between your eyebrows. And the, the crystal for that is amethyst and the color is purple. Um, amethyst is a beautiful calming crystal and it really helps reduce anxiety and help people sleep. Um, I often recommend it for parents to put it beside kids' bedsides to help them sleep and it helps keep the nightmares away, mm -hmm. which is great. Wow. Um, what about the, for, oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. is there any crystals to help with stomach pain? Yes. Can I get there in a couple? Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, because there's a couple of different chakras that are involved with that. Um, the next one down is your throat chakra. And the color here is light blue. This is a blue lace agate, one of my favorite stones. The throat chakra is where we, we are supposed to speak our truths. Um, so in our solar plexus, we know our truth. In our third eye, we see our truth. Um, and we're supposed to speak it. And a lot of women have issues with this. And this is also where we create healthy boundaries. Like, nope, you cannot go that. You can't overstep my boundary and push me around. Um, a lot of women have issues with this in particular, and it can affect your thyroid. Um, the next chakra down is your heart chakra. And there's two different options for this. The color of the chakra is green, which is the color of healing and love and the earth. and external relationships but we can use rose quartz for self-love which is super important because so many people are struggling with that um you know you do 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 for everybody else and you don't take care of yourself um so self-care is is huge i have a ton of rose quartz in my bedroom because it just helps to calm and um soothe it's really beautiful wow but the next chakra down is just um, below, right where you're in the center of your rib cage, where it comes up together in, the, in your stomach. And the color there is yellow. This is citrine, which is great for taking negativity out of every space. It cleanses other crystals. This one is good for stomach pain because the stomach is where we take negativity in and absorb it. And we don't really want to be doing that. That's, that's really bad for our bodies. <laughs> Um, the solar plexus is all about our personal power, our gut feeling. And, you know, if you don't listen to what your gut is saying on, when you're trying to make a decision, it's usually the wrong, <laughs> wrong, it's not wrong situation. You should really be tuning into your heart and your solar plexus when you're trying to make a decision and don't use the brain so much because it's, uh, it, the ego can take us in the wrong direction. Got it. Um, so we, the solar plexus also houses the liver, the gallbladder, and the spleen, which house emotionally um, anger, resentment, and guilt. Mm -hmm. So if we're holding on to a lot of those negative emotions, it can make us really ill. Yeah. So by clearing these things out with chakra balancing, Reiki, crystal healing, it can make huge physical changes. It's really fun to watch. Ooh. The next chakra is right at your belly button, and that's the sacral chakra. The color is orange. This is a carnelian. It's a really pretty color. Um, and so for women, this is our reproductive health. This is literally literally where we create, like we bear children there, right? Um, but it's also where it's our creative center, art and writing and, and anything that we're doing creatively. Um, and this is where we process emotions or don't. This is where we decide how we're gonna deal with, with 
the emotional piece. Um, and the other thing that can get stuck there is significant uh, female relationships, like mother, grandmother, sisters, that kind of thing. So if there's any dysfunction there, it can cause a lot of issues. Um, and that also affects the digestive system. So female reproductive and like digestive issues. So a lot of people have, you know, all the itises, colitis and um, diverticulitis, all these, all these inflammatory bowel and mm -hmm. uh, digestive issues. And it often, that's why I asked, <laughs> I'm sorry to jump the gun before. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's great. Because you can, you can use crystals, you can use energy work to clear all that crap literally out because <laughs> um, often we hang on to things we, we we bring them in we stuff them down and our body absorbs it and then we can make ourselves really ill by doing that if you keep doing it over time all this stuff has to be brought out and released and energy work is a nice gentle way to do that without going through it again you know you know what I mean a lot of people are afraid that if they're if they want to bring an issue up that they have to go through the pain and the agony again and that's not true if an emotion comes up it needs to be thank you for showing me that and then let's work to release it so that it isn't reabsorbed in the body because that's going to affect your immune system and uh, make you ill over time the um seventh chakra is the root chakra and you're literally sitting on it right now so it's between your pubic bone and your tailbone and um the color here is red and it's called the root and this is a red japs jasper and this is a garnet it looks black but it's actually actually has a dark 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 red and uh this chakra is, is super important because this is our will to live and survive um family, money, security, um, any abuse issues will be felt here. Um, and it affects, you know, how you're going to be projecting yourself to the world and how you bring in wealth. You can act, if this chakra is blocked, it's actually gonna block your finances as well, which is not fun. <laughs> um, so this is a center for male reproductive health, um, anything to do with skin, genitals, uh, that kind of thing. Um, any health issues with that? And uh, we bring in earth energy into our root to nurture ourselves. So it's a super, super important chakra. And then the last chakra we're going to talk about today is the grounding chakra. So it's about four feet below your feet. And the color here is black. You can use browns, greens, anything that's earth based. This is a black tourmaline, one of my favorites. So black tourmaline, um, it's for grounding, protection, balance, and it also helps to protect us from all the EMFs and all the other energy waves that are present in our environment. And uh, it's just a lovely grounding stone. Okay, so an easy way to work with your chakras is to like, for example, wear a chakra bracelet so that they're all represented you can this one actually has lava stone so you can put aromatherapy oil on it um so it helps to keep you balanced um we sell chakra stone sets which are little you know pocket stones um you can put them under your pillow keep them in your purse um sometimes put them in the kids backpacks <laughs> to help them at school um there's so many uses um even just having them in the space like i have them in my office i have them on my desk and in my home <laughs> um they all have their like i have a, i have quite a collection at home it's pretty big <laughs> but i just pull from how i'm feeling that day and what do i need today um because they, they all help to clear they all help to keep our chakras balanced and then that keeps us healthier in the long run and we also have another tool. Um, we sell a chakra affirmation deck. And I just pulled one from each, each chakra. So for the root, I am stable, safe, and secure. I am rooted in life and, and in myself. 
So it's just a positive way to start the day. And, you know, there's the colors are specific to each chakra. So for the sacral, I feel joy and happiness flow from me. So we want to bring in white light, bring in earth light, and then radiate out love and kindness into the world so that it impacts everyone in our environment. For the solar plexus, I accept and value myself exactly as I am. So that's really like loving ourselves and going, yeah, I'm awesome. <laughs> um, because we need to step into our power. We shouldn't be letting other people, you know, make decisions for us or um, push us around when we know it's not, when it's not resonating with our truth. Yeah. For the heart chakra, my heart flows with loving kindness and compassion. Our hearts can heal everything, literally. That's where we manifest from. That's um, so it, it, everyone talks about the brain being so powerful, but the the heart is is much, much more, like 50,000, I think, times more powerful wow. um, in terms of frequency and really manifesting things. Um, for the throat chakra, I express myself freely and easily with clear intent. And it's the light blue color. Okay. For the third eye, I use my imagination for positive creative purposes. So it's important for our chakras to be balanced. So we want them to be about that big around when we look at them with a pendulum. Um, what I'm, I've been finding throughout the pandemic is that they're more like this big around, <laughs> which means that everybody is just taking in way too much information and it, feeling really overwhelmed bombarded and anxious exactly. and anxiety. So then you're in, yes <laughs> exactly you so your anxiety and stress levels go through the roof you become ungrounded and you can you're barely you're basically walking around in survival mode which isn't healthy in the long run wow and then for the crown chakra i'm in total harmony physically mentally and spiritually so it's really finding a way to connect all the dots um, if we can keep our, our chakras open, but just enough, <laughs> um, and keep keep them keep the energy flowing back and forth through us, we'll be far healthier in the long run. Um, what? Yeah. So the overwhelming thing I've been finding is that people's throat chakras are shut, and then everything else is blown. The the, the chakras are like wide wide open through the pandemic so things are starting to improve when i see people now but um yeah it takes it takes a few sessions sometimes to get them we can usually get them balanced in one session but in order to maintain it it usually takes a few and then we work on the deeper issues through reiki wow. to release what is what's in the background what is what is messing up that chakra's balance in the first place so really trying to get to the root of it and uh, coming up with some practical ways for them to, to work through it and release it all. And all this energy, oh. I just have to point out, because some people, especially, I'm going to say older people, my father's in his 70s, and he doesn't understand the concept of how energy, and it's hard for someone, you know, who's a little older, who's not, you know, I'm, I'm not that young myself, I'm 44, but you know, I understand this. I've been around it. I know it, you know, not everybody is yes. there. So could you explain that concept of how this can work through here, through zoom, through the radio, through the telephone? Uh, it doesn't have to be in-person hands-on. That's exactly right. So, so through the pandemic, all of our energy workers are working online. Um, so we do it through a secure video call, just like we are on zoom right now. Um, mm -hmm. We can do that through our Jane app. Uh, which is available in our online booking. And um, energy is independent of time and space. We can, we can send energy forward in time. If you have a special event, an interview, something that's stressful that you're, you're anticipating is going to be hard to get through, we can send energy to that. But we can also send energy back in time so that we work on your inner child. We, okay. And we can even go even further and work on generational traumas in your whole ancestral tree and uh, past life traumas that are affecting people now. 
um, like for example, I have I had one client. Um, she was having a really dysfunctional codependent relationship with her daughter in this lifetime. And we were, do we were doing a Reiki session and it came up that she's like, oh my God, I can see myself as an Egyptian woman and my daughter, my baby died. Like, so that fear of separation, that, that fear of losing her has been made such a trauma way back when that it has stuck to her through, through each of her lives. So we need to clear these things once and for all and uh -huh. get rid of them. Yeah, a lot of us have. Now, how does it work, right? Because people think they, that there's something wrong with them, whether it's um, whatever it is, but turns out you're here trying to help them and you realize it's deeper than that. How do you sense that? It's something that can't be resolved for, and it's from this lifetime. It's from another lifetime. How do you, you just feel it? I love it. I'm looking at you like, you just That is a good it? question. How do I know it? It's because they're telling my, my guides and Your guides. angels are always you're over my right it. shoulder and there's okay. their lip. So um, the way my gifts work, I'm clairsentient so I can feel things through my hands. Even if the person's not right there in front of me, um, I, what I do is make a representation of their body with all my stones on the table. Uh -huh. And then I work through it like a regular, regular treatment with Reiki, where I work the whole, I work, basically I clear up the whole body. Um, so, so I can feel things, I sense things. Um, and so I'll feel things and I'll feel sensations in my own body, like, oh, my stomach hurts, what's going on? Like, or um, I will have a voice in my ear saying, this is from a past life, this is not from now. Um, and that's called clear cognizance. So I just know something. I have yep. no idea where it comes from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know it's from my guides and angels, but um, that's how intuition works. When we tap into things, we get more messages. Um, and, and once in a while, I'm clairvoyant and I can see things. That, that, that is developing over time. Um, but my primary spiritual senses are clear sentience and clear cognizance. Wow. So a lot of people, it's always a, <laughs> it's irritating when I go on courses with a bunch of clairvoyants who can see <laughs> yeah. all these wonderful things when they meditate. And I'm like, oh man, <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's harder for me to get there. I am getting better at it, but it's definitely something you have to work on. Yeah. It's a skill set just like anything else. But, intuition. and it's true that we all have this gift in a Absolutely. sense. We a all do. We just don't know how. Some of us don't know how to turn it on and to tune in. And do you help and people been, with that as well? Tapping into their own energy, to their own guides? Absolutely. Yeah. So as soon as we, and that's what I do during my Reiki sessions, and I teach people how to ground themselves, teach people how to shield, teach them how to connect to their angels, to their guides. And, um, and that is independent of religion. This is spirituality. It's wow. doesn't matter what religion you're from. Um, I've taught, yeah, I've taught basically students from every religion and it's just been a universal thing because the energy work that we're working with is the universal life force energy, which is from God, yeah. creator, wow. universe, spirit whatever you want to call it, whatever resonates with you, um, it's all one in the end anyways. Yeah. So each, each element of each kind of energy work is a different way of, of moving and working with that universal life force energy. None of us are absolutely, you know, carbon copies of each other. We all relate to source differently. We all need to come back to it and relate to it our own way. So nobody there's no carbon copy got it there's no recipe <laughs> it just have to have fun with it and see what works for you and what does not so that that's the that's what i love about energy work is it's never the same thing twice no like, i never know what's going to happen and it's it's a puzzle that we're putting together and it, and coming up with a solution that's really going to help people move forward wow. move onward live life more compassionately and with more kindness. That's what we want. Okay. 
Thank you. We still have three more minutes left. What else do you want to add, sweetheart? <laughs> want you to use our time widely, please. Yes. Yes. Um, so I would love to work with any of you um, online. We can do that through our Reiki. Through, we can do Reiki. We do chakra balancing. Um, Lynn can do her oracle reading, intuitive, intuitive card readings. Um, Intuitive channeling, I should say. Um, crystalline quantum, quick crystalline energy healing. That's a mouthful. Ohana mm -hmm. generational healing. Um, Nancy and Lisa do emotional freedom technique and life coaching all through our online services. So we are available to anyone, mm -hmm. uh, anywhere. And uh, all you have to do is go to our website, lavenderlaneptw.ca, browse through all of our services and and each practitioner and see who resonates with your heart like who clicks um if it doesn't click don't do it <laughs> listen to your heart listen to your solar plexus because your your body your higher self communicates through your your solar plexus and your heart to communicate what's for your greatest and highest good what is going to benefit you right now um then we can start working on your whole life, your whole health, mind, body, and spirit. Um, but if you go to online booking at lavenderlaneptw.ca, you pick who you want, you set up your account, and you get an email that you click it once and you begin your call. It's super fun. Pretty cool. And wow. healing should be an adventure. It should be fun. It's not all hard work. <laughs> <laughs> not all the time. Well, thank you um, so much. And you're welcome. If you want to reach out, is there an initial conversation we could have? Pardon me? Initial conversation. If we reach out to you, is there a charge? Is there an initial? Um, I think you offer a free 15 minute consult for for. Uh, OK, so for nutrition, there's a free 30 minute consult. Oh, 30 minutes it is. OK, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to speak to Vanessa, our massage therapist, there's a 15 minute consult and she can also teach you how to do some acupressure and reflexology on yourself at home um and uh, she's amazing too and <laughs> i got a really great group and Me then too, and i got to meet some of them in the past here so yes, we'll have to do more of that in the future and then uh, our our life coaches lisa o'gorman and nancy bruce they have a one hour discovery call and they'll actually do for example if you're after a weight loss program they'll actually clear a food craving for you in that first call that's amazing yeah we talked about potato chips months ago i think <laughs> thank you <laughs> christine how do we reach out to you one more time tell us the website please go to lavender lane ptw.ca and you can contact me there anytime and ask questions thank you so much for being here today enlightening us more and enlightening me on the whole crystal aspect of energy healing and the chakras and how each and every one uh, can affect and help heal and clear some of those areas that may have some stuck it, energy. it is so profound it has it changed my life okay. and i use the i use these things on myself every day thank you so much christine have a great day are you looking for even more of the podcast and hosts that you love the podcast business news network is proud to announce that you can now listen live on the my tuner radio and online radio box apps for ios android and the amazon app store or check us out online. Search for Business News Network on mytuner-radio.com or search Podcast Business News Network on onlineradiobox.com slash US so you don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. 
We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.